bread as well. Mm. Yep. Yep. I think I found it. This is the best cheesesteak. That is beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. familiar with who these people who are, you know, they're Mark Wines and JL Lupiter. JL's a native to Philly and Mark Wines came to visit to take a food tour of the Reading Market. And we decided to do the same thing. We drove in from New Jersey and we parked in a parking garage right across the street. With a little elevated trip down and walk across the street, we saw that the parking garage ended up being $36 for the day parking there. The Marriott, right across the street, in case you ate too much and need a place to stay. Reading Terminal Market in Pennsylvania. This is the number one public market in America. Congratulations to them. We had to come in and visit and try some of the food that we've seen on YouTube. Our first stop, of course, we had to get some sandwiches while we're in the sandwich capital of the world at Herschel's Eastside. Uh, Reuben on seated rice. Whoa. That looks ginormous. That's massive. Ah. Wedding, yo. <laughs> Here we are at uh, Herschel's East Side at the Reading Terminal Market in Radding. Phil Radding in Philadelphia. We got this combo sandwich here. It looks massive. This is a massive. Are we in here? Are we in here? Are we in here yet? Look at the sandwich. Yeah, the pastrami is definitely. Pastrami is juicy. This is juicy, baby. In my opinion. Oh, wow. <laughs> you said it's delicious. Oh, this is delicious. That's stupid. That's really good. I'm glad I washed my hands before I ate this. It's pretty freaking good. We go in, yo. We going in. On a time crunch, we had to walk around and cut our eating short. We saw all the vendors that were here from seafood, fresh to cooked, and meat. But our next stop was at Miller's Twist, the world-renowned, famous pretzels. And they had something special there that we definitely had to try. Can I get one of those, and then also one of the cheesesteak pretzels with whiz and fried onions? So here we are at Miller's Twist Pretzel Roll Up. They got filled all beef pretzel cheese dogs, all beef jumbo pretzel cheese dogs, and they got regular pretzels. Get one for my mom. We ordered our pretzels and continue to walk around to see what else we could find from different vendors, including more seafood, other meats and charcuteries. We even had a South American, some Spanish type cuisine, some shawarma, smoothies, and uh, might as well get some sweets over here. LD Bass's Eye Inc. Ice Cream and Cheese. Established in 1861, known to have the world's creamiest. I, we just got ice cream at Bassett's. Delicious ice cream, right, Bubba? You can't have ice cream because you're on dairy. But Jenna got one soup, and it was huge. I'm gonna finish this and then we'll go to the next spot before it closes. Oh. Wow. Chocolate ice cream from LD Bastet. Let's go. Hi, right, here we are, bud. Ready? We're at the market in Philly with Dada. He said hi. Say hi. Ugh. We continued to walk around as we waited in line for our cheese sticks at Carmen's. There's so many different vendors from Taste of Spain's, Cajun Cuisine, many types of donuts and bakeries, Be Natural, Pizza, Cheese Sticks, more Cheese Sticks, and even more Cheese Sticks. They even have Caribbean Cuisine here, and Philadelphia's first black owned bakery opened up here. They have Fox and Sun Fancy Corn Dogs, Flying Monkey Bakery, God's Hall Poultry, with so many other options. This is really a multi-day trip if you're planning to come here and check out this market. But if you really want to see just a bunch of vendors, local vendors creating Philadelphia's finest cuisines, this is definitely a place to check out. As you already said and know, this is the world's best market. 
So we're still back. We're going to Carmine Steak, where we've been waiting in line for about 35 minutes. We paid somebody to wait in line. Not really, but still. We have been waiting, right, in line patiently for cheese steaks. Baba, you're eating your snacks. And we're just waiting to eat cheese steaks and Chinese food. That's what else can we ask for, right? I can ask for my mask back. Oh, here, sit down. Sit down like a big boy. He's like Pinocchio. Are you Pinocchio? Please don't jump. Don't jump. Ah. There's only a few items in the world that you'll find me waiting in line for. Whether it's a super fancy ride or delicious food that is probably to die for. That's where I'll be. The market ended up coming to a close by the time we got our cheesesteak. So we decided to take our cheesesteak next door where we could order something for the baby to eat and where we could enjoy our food while sitting down. I think this is closed down over here. We, we walked across the street to a Panera Bread. We sat down and ordered a turkey BLT with avocado for my son. And while we waited, we dove into our cheese steaks. Hey, wait, we're at Panera Bread eating the cheese steak from Carmen's. How's that? I buy it with something called Cooper cheese. Apparently, it's the newest thing. The newest thing, huh? It's like a blend cheese. Like, uh, like, like chopped cheese. Yeah. And they call it Cooper cheese. Is it? It's pretty good. It's a stuffed pretzel cheese. It's like Annie Ann's meets cheesesteak. Miller's. So good. Miller's Swiss cheesesteak. Can I get my. This one's yours. This one's a whiz whiz. Mm -hmm. I just wanted you to bite that. <laughs> That's pretty good. Whiz whip. Thank you. <laughs> Pretzel cheese here. You tell me this? We got a pop right after this is cold, by the way, because we were walking around for a little bit with it, and it's still freaking pretty freaking fire. I can imagine if this thing was hot, it would be freaking banging. This pretzel dough is insane. Yeah, I'm sorry. Hmm? Open it up. Yeah. This, the filling and the dough and the, the onion crumb of the onion, it's insane. That's like the best combination, pretzel and cheesesteak. That that's you need, you need a drink with that. Uh, you need a drink. Salt. But this is definitely like if you got like if you're a beer drinker, I can imagine like that's like heaven. But I don't drink, so a nice like Perrier <laughs> or a White Claw. <laughs> so we're eating this at a Panera Bread, but they're closing down over there. So we took this one right across the street. But yeah, I'll try this one, cheesesteak here quick. That pretzel is like so good. Alright, we'll try this quick and then we'll go get hot pot. You'll be eating our faces off today. Uh, it's so hot this one's still hot. The dough is soft, the bread is soft. Mm. Yep. 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 I think I found it. This is the best cheesesteak. The bread is soft, bro. I'm like... Look like you're in shock. No, no, I'm like, I'm trying to process this. Like... Do you want to try the one with Cooper cheese? Cooper cheese. This one's Cooper cheese. It's like a blend processed cheese. Get ketchup, go. I'm the classic whiz whip. Mm. 
All right. That's it. We're still waiting for the baby. Did the baby's food get on? I think no. We're still waiting on baby's food up in there, bro. But in the meantime, we have some cheesesteaks, which were freaking phenomenal. It's insane. I think I'm definitely team pretzel cheesesteak. Like that is the thing that I think we're gonna we're gonna do that. My baby had a cheesesteak. <laughs> look at him. Look how happy he is. Yeah. Look how happy you are. You're your cheesesteak. Look at his little feet. You see his little feet? He's so happy. You like the cheesesteak, bro? Only from Miller's Twist, right? Oh, Miller's Twist one? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> We are leaving Reading Terminal Market right now. We just got some baby food. We fed them. And now we're going to get Chinese food. Jen is upset with the cheese steaks. I thought they were rather delicious. Cats forever. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. You're right. Miller's Twist. <laughs> She's all about Miller's steak, Miller's pretzel. Twist cheese pretzel. Go get it. But I think we didn't get enough of the market as we would like to because we got here late just because we got that dilemma got stuck. Uh, so we're gonna have to come out here another time and reshoot this entire thing, but in the meantime, this will be our trailer for Reading Terminal Market. So thanks for tuning in. Hopefully we can get some more footage of it. But in the meantime, let's go get some Chinese food while we're out here. Now getting hand-pulled noodles are great, but this is a story for another time. Today we're talking about the Reading Terminal Market and the food we can get here in Philadelphia. Very hot. The fact that we can walk around the corner and be in Chinatown is truly incredible. It's such a diverse community of people come together and share their cuisine. This restaurant was truly an experience. The food was delicious and spicy, as you can imagine. That's because we wanted it that way. And some things in life, you just have to go out there and find. So you never know what you're gonna find as you go out there and try it. Thanks for tuning in with us here at Love For More on our new series, Fine Dining, featuring markets.